All right, good afternoon. How's everyone? I'd like to welcome everyone to 2016 Bear Elementary Dare graduation. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking the city of Miamisburg, uh, the Miamisburg City Schools, and the Miamisburg Police Department for their support of the Dare program because without it, today would not be possible. I'd also like to thank all the parents and relatives that have joined us today. I had a real fun time working with your kids this year. They're a great group, and you should be very, very proud of them. Also, I'd like to thank all the fourth graders who joined us today, and I look forward to seeing you next year in D.A.R.E. class. Uh, just a brief summary of some of the topics we covered in D.A.R.E. class. We talked about the dangers of alcohol and tobacco. Uh, we talked about good decision-making skills and how to resist uh, peer pressure. Uh, we talked how to be safe with prescription and over-the-counter drugs. And then we talked about bullying and being confident in ourselves. And once again, fifth graders, uh, you guys need to take what we talked about this year and use it, especially as you guys grow older and encounter some difficult situations, especially in middle school and high school and maybe beyond. Um, we have some guests today that have joined us to congratulate you on your accomplishment. Uh, we have from the city of Miamisburg, the mayor, Dick Church. <laughs> In the Ohio House of Representatives, we have Representative Narajatani. From the Miami Municipal Court, we have your judge, Judge Robert Reddick. <laughs> From the Miami Police Department, we have the Chief, John Sedlak. <laughs> From the Miami City Schools, we have your Superintendent, Dr. David Vail. <laughs> and of course, your Principal, Mrs. Sunderman. Most of our guests would like to say a few words to him, and we'll begin with Mayor Church. Get through all the wires coming up here. Uh, by the way, I was impressed that uh, you knew the chief's name today. I practiced all night. <laughs> okay. At one of the graduations yesterday, he just, I think he forgot his name or which is easy to do at times. Thanks and he just says, there. the chief of police. But today, John said like, that's good. I appreciate you bringing it up. Okay. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> I was gonna say now, don't disappoint me. You usually <laughs> respond real good. Before I get started, because I always forget in my remarks, but uh, I want to thank the Miami Valley Communications Council. Uh, Joe McKenzie's on the camera today, and you can watch this program at least 100 times between now and uh, the next Bauer graduation. You know, today we are going to be completing 22 years of D.A.R.E. in the Miamisburg Schools. Mrs. Skank, her husband was chief of police when this started 22 years ago. And it, to me, it's, and I say this every year and I really mean it, it is the best uh, program that the city of Miamisburg does in cooperation with the Miamisburg City School District. There are a lot of people that are rooting for you and that's why you have such a big turnout here to congratulate you. You have learned a lot from Officer Sheritz during uh, the, the course, and I hope that you remember those things because, young people, things are getting rougher and rougher for you every day. When I was growing up, beer was the drug. No, we didn't hear of marijuana, we didn't hear of heroin, all those uh, drugs that you hear about today. But today, you have so many challenges before you. And uh, heroin especially, we have commented, because we've been on the circuit to all these D.A.R.E. graduations, we're really tired of talking about heroin, but we can't be tired of talking about it because it is a dangerous, dangerous drug that a lot of people uh, at all levels of government, and not only in the state of Ohio, but across this nation, 
are trying to come to, to cope with. We are trying to see what we can do to bring this uh, heroin epidemic in, in place. So I, I guess my big message to you today as you graduate from this D.A.R.E. program, you know, there was a first lady that she just recently died, President Ronald Reagan's wife, Nancy. And Nancy Reagan, when he was president, had a slogan she told to anybody that would listen about drugs. Her solution was, just say no. And yeah, it's a pretty good and an easy thing to remember. Just say no. Because I'm going to guarantee you that someday in your life, might be today, next week, might be 20, 30 years from now, but someday you're going to be challenged by someone uh, who you think is your friend to do something that you know in your heart is wrong. And I would hope that you would remember the lessons that Officer Sheritz has taught you in D.A.R.E. and just say, no, I'm not going to do that. Stand up to the person. You know it in your heart it's wrong. Don't let anybody talk you into something that you know is, is bad for your health. So with that, I guarantee you, if you say no, you're going to have a great rest of your life. Have a great summer vacation. Next, we have Judge Reddick. The mayor's right. I have to speak about how devastating the heroin epidemic is just about constantly everywhere I go because we've just had so many people die from opiate ab abuse. Uh, it's fentanyl, it's heroin, it's opiates. Uh, it's just horrible. And I don't know what the solution is. We're doing everything we can through treatment. And I use a whole lot of Vivitrol, and that's been about the only thing I've found to be effective. But I, I want to congratulate you. This is your day. You're graduating from D.A.R.E. You have very bright futures. Each and every single one of you is talented. You have a whole lot of, of just a great future, a whole lot of virtue and ability, and you're moving on to middle school where the world's your oyster. Your future is so bright, you need to wear sunglasses. And the mayor said, you know, I'll guarantee you a great future if you just do what Officer Doug's taught you. I, I'm so gratified to see so many parents here you have no idea how important that is, and I genuinely appreciate it, and I know your kids do. Um, what, what the mayor said is true. You're going to be challenged. Somebody's going to come to you and say, let's try this. It's pretty good. You may really like it. Uh, give it a shot. What I'm telling you is you've got to say no. You've got to turn to that friend and say, that's not for me. I'm not going to do that. It's not going to be in the cold, hard light of day. It's going to be at night in a park, in a car, in a basement somewhere. But you have to stand up for what you know is right, what your parents, you know, I've, 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 the, the police chief says, you know, you have a little voice in you that's going to tell you the right thing to do. Listen to that little voice. Do the right thing. Now, there may be a friend of yours seated next to you that may make the wrong choice. And if that friend makes that long, wrong choice, I'd ask you to be a great friend to them and say, hey, I think you're taking a wrong path. Why don't you reconsider what you're doing? Because maybe later on, it might be that friend's life you're saving. Now, I want you to have a great summer, enjoy middle school, learn a great deal, and enjoy all your summer, all right? Thank you very much. Next, we have Representative Vatan.
Thank you, officer, and thank you all for having me, and thank you for the parents for being here. Well, congratulations. Let's give our kids a round of applause. <clears throat> so, um, my name is Nir Ajantani. I am the state representative in the, in the state house for my, the Myersburg area in Miami Township. Um, but before that, 15 years ago, I sat right where you're sitting literally where you're sitting here at Bauer Elementary. I was a, a Bauer B from kindergarten to fifth grade and Mr. Davis was my art teacher. Um, yes, he's been around that long and yes, the mayor swore me in for third grade student government and yes, he's been around that long. Um, but, but literally 15 years ago, I graduated from the D.A.R.E. program and stood where you stood. And uh, you know, then it wasn't Officer Sheritz, but it was Officer Tim Hunsaker who was our D.A.R.E. officer and, and learn probably, I probably have that t-shirt you're wearing somewhere in, uh, in my parents' garage. Um, but you know, let me just congratulate you on, on this achievement and on going to middle school next year. Are you guys excited for middle school? Yeah. Yes. A little, a little hesitating yeses, that's okay. You'll have a lot of fun. Well, let me just ask you this. How many of you have a dream to be something when you grow up? A doctor, a lawyer, a veterinarian, even the fourth graders do. See, they're already, they're, they're ahead of the curve. Well, everything that Officer Sheritz has taught you will stop you from those dreams. And that's why it's so important for you to listen to what uh, he taught you. You know, you have those dreams of, of being a doctor, a lawyer, or a, a nurse, or uh, a veterinarian, or maybe an NFL football player. But, you know, and, and nothing will stop you from that. If you work hard, and do your homework and get involved in different organizations and volunteer your time to help people, you will be able to achieve those dreams unless uh, drugs and alcohol makes an appearance. And that's why it's so important uh, for you to listen to what Officer Sheritz has said. You know, I can't tell you, I, I'm, I went for, to Miamisburg from, from kindergarten to, to high school. Uh, and, you know, so grew up with, with everyone in Miamisburg. And I cannot tell you how many people uh, I graduated high school with or were near me in high school that, you know, had dreams uh, but have not been able to achieve them as of yet because of, because of drugs and alcohol. And I, I want a better future for you all. Just know that, you know, I am working every day in Columbus for you. Um, you know, I want you all, every, every day I work to give you all uh, a better future. Um, and, and that's my job. The governor has, Governor Kasich, who, you know, just ran for president and would talk about these issues, you know, he started a, a program called Start Talking at the state level. And basically what that says is that, you know, look, if you see uh, people with drugs or alcohol, tell your parents, tell your teachers, tell a, a police officer, tell someone, and, and that way they can get involved and, and help you. So, but for now, congratulations and, uh, and have fun in middle school. Next, we have Chief Sedelec. Good afternoon, Bauer kids. Good afternoon. And good afternoon, parents. <laughs> I'm not sure I think she said my name. I think she knows it better than you do. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Previously, you heard from the mayor and from the judge and from Representative Antani that you've been taught, taught a lot of good things by Officer Sheritz about a lot of bad things and what to do and how to react. And that's all very good and those lessons will get you far in life. But I also wanted to point out when it's going to be important to employ those lessons because generally it doesn't come at you like that. It doesn't come at you as if it's bad that this is something you ought not to do. Nobody's going to try to convince you to do something that is guaranteed to make you sick or injured or hurt. It's really just really bad stuff. But here, try it. That's not how it's going to work. I think you're smart enough to know that. It's just exactly the opposite. Usually it's going to come from somebody that you know, maybe a friend, probably a friend. Somebody that normally you actually trust and has generally good common sense. 
but maybe he's making a mistake this time. And they're going to tell you, hey, let's try this. It's really good. So-and-so did it. He said it's wonderful. She said it's great. I tried it once. It was wonderful. It's going to make you feel so good. Let's try this. That's when the decision making is hard. When it's somebody you know, somebody you trust, somebody you like, and something that they're telling you you will enjoy. But you have to remember then the lessons that you learned this year. That's when it is really, really important. That's when you really have to draw on your inner strength and you got to stand up and you got to do what you know is right. And there's only one reason you've been taught these things. It's to keep you healthy. It's to keep you happy. And it's to keep you successful in your life. That's all it is. This stuff is very addictive. It might seem like, oh, what's, what's it going to hurt if I try it once? But you know what? One time with the wrong substance and you're hooked. And even if then you realize, oh, I hate this stuff. It's horrible. It's destroying me. It's destroying my life. It's not easy to get off of. That's what makes it so, so dangerous. So just remember, we want you to live a great life. All the opportunities, the, your future's so bright, you have to wear sunglasses and all the rest. It's all true. But it won't be true if you let something really bad take you on another path. So we do want you to have a great summer. We want you to enjoy yourself. If it's, if it's this summer, when that temptation happens, remember what we've all told you about and act the right way and keep yourself healthy, happy, and on the road to success. Have a good summer. Just want to make sure to let Chief Sladek know that last night I went home and wrote on a piece of paper a hundred times, I will not forget my boss's name. <laughs> <laughs> and next we have Dr. Vale. One mistake, they never let you forget. <laughs> I, I told you. <laughs> well, it certainly is an honor for me to be here to be a part of your graduation from, this, from the D.A.R.E. program. On behalf of the Board of Education, all the administration and staff here at Miamisburg City Schools, we do want to congratulate you for going through the program and finishing it strong and learning the great lessons that you learned. You know, before you started school, you had some great teachers and some great counselors. And those are your parents. They're sitting back there. You have big brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, grandparents. And they taught you about right and wrong, good and bad. When you started school, and you have some great teachers here at Miamisburg teaching you social studies, science, math, art. And we have one addition to our staff, Officer Doug Sherrick. He teaches you what we don't teach you. We teach you what you need to be successful in school, and he teaches you what you need to be successful out of school. So you need to make sure you take those lessons that he taught you, use those decision-making models, and put those into place. But you're not out there by yourself. The judge, uh, the mayor, uh, the representative, and the, the chief all talked about challenges that you'll face in your future. You don't know when it will be or how it will be or from whom. But you're not alone out there. You've got a great support system. You've got each other. You've got your parents. You've got your teachers. You've got Officer Sherrods. So if something comes up that you can't handle, go to one of them. If you get a question posed to you that you don't know the answer to, go to one of them. We're all in this together. You're not by yourself. You don't have to go it alone. So make sure that we stick together and stay strong. I want you to have a great last couple days of school, have an awesome summer, and good luck in middle school next year. Thank you. The last thing the students did as part of the DARE program is they have to write a DARE report. And not only do they have to write one, but they have to stand up in front of their classmates and present it to them. Uh, everyone you see seated here did that, and you guys all did a great job on it. And we've selected a few to read today, and we'll begin with Valerie Alomar.
Have you ever heard of D.A.R.E.? D.A.R.E. is a program that helps kids understand the badness of smoking, doing drugs, and drinking. There are many reasons why smoking, alcohol, and drugs are bad. Smoking is bad because more than 200 chemicals can be found in a cigarette. More than 400,000 American, more than 400,000 Americans die from smoking-related causes each year. There are many bad causes from smoking, like heart disease, lung cancer, mouth cancer, and tooth loss. There are many reasons why you should not smoke. Now let's talk about alcohol. Alcohol is bad because there are 75,000 deaths each year in the United States due to alcohol. Mixing alcohol with medicine is dangerous. Alcohol is illegal for people under 21 years old. Alcohol slows down the brain. Some effects of this are loss of coordination, poor judgment, memory loss, lack of self-control, and slow re reflexes. Alcohol also reasons, weakens the heart muscle. Too much alcohol can slow down the body pulse and lead to coma or death. There are many reasons why you should not drink. Now let's talk about drugs. Drugs are any substance other than food that affects the way your mind and body works. There are some good, good drugs that keep us from getting sick, yet there are a lot of bad drugs that people use because they want to or are addicted to. There are different kinds of drugs like cocaine, heroin, and marijuana. Using these drugs is called drug abuse. Drug abuse is the habit of taking addictive or illegal drugs. Drug abuse kills about 200,000 people worldwide each year. Now you know more about drugs. Now, you know, now that you know more about D.A.R.E., also using drugs, drinking, and smoking, I hope you can use these facts to help prevent you from making bad choices. Don't forget, if someone asks you to smoke, drink, or use drugs, please say no. Next, we have Carter Kleinfelder's report. Unfortunately, he had to leave today. Uh, so Kyle Lindenschmidt has volunteered to read his report. Dare report. Did you know about 475 people are killed from cigarettes and alcohol combined each year? That's terrible. These next paragraphs are going to give you information about drugs and why they have, are bad for you. This paragraph is about, is about alcohol. Alcohol is illegal for anybody under the age of 21 years of age. Alcohol is different kinds of drinks like beer, liquor, wine, margaritas, and lots more. These kinds of drink, drinks can do a lot of damage to you, to you. Like, it slows down your brain and body. You can also have memory loss or poor judgment. Even more dangerous stuff is people mixing alcohol with medicine. Most teenagers do not drink alcohol. Adult bodies have, are pretty much done growing, but teen bodies are still growing. So alcohol is more dangerous to teen, teens than it is to adults. Alcohol can reduce the amount of blood is allowed, that is allowed to flow to and from your heart. Too much of this alcohol can put you into a coma and that can lead you to death. Alcohol can go into your blood flow and can damage every organ in your body. This paragraph is about ta tobacco use in the US. It is illegal to sell tobacco products to anybody under the age of 18 years of age. Some states age limit is 19 years. Almost 50,000 50, deaths per year are attributed to secondhand smoke. Cigarettes contain a substance called nicotine. Smoking can cause heart failure and it can cause, and it can cause lung, can, lung cancer. Smoking can yellow your teeth and your breath will smell bad. It can also cause wrinkles in your skin. Did you know that some smoking is leading preventable cause of death in the United States? These are more than 200 known chemicals in cigarettes. People smoke usually to get more colds and upper respiratory problems. Now I think you get how bad this stuff is. There are five W's. The, they are for reporting. Bullying, first. There is what happened, then there is who is being bullied? When did it happen? Where did it happen? Finally, why did it happen? Let's say someone is 
being bullied, and you are a bystander. So you go find a trusted adult. Then an adult says, who is being bullied? What happened? When did it happen? Where did it happen? And why did it happen? Then you would answer these questions. One of the ways making responsible decisions is using four steps. Define, assess, respond, and evaluate. These paragraphs are about what I learned in D.A.R.E. class. So don't get involved in any kind of this. Any, any kind of this. This is not good for you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you reading. Did a great yeah. job. Thank you. Thank you. you. Should I take this? Okay. That's great. Next, we have Amy Wynn. Hi, my name is Amy, and I would like to tell you about Dare. Dare is all about making the right choices and telling you what you should, what you should do to make these choices. Dare teaches you all these surprising facts you never knew before. Dare will teach you why you shouldn't smoke fully use alcohol or tobacco. The effects are surprising. Smoking is the leading preventable cause of death in this country. I have learned that smoking contains nicotine, a powerful substance that causes addiction. Smoking can also yell your teeth and give you bad breath. There are more than 200 known harmful chemicals in cigarette smoke. Did you know smoking can cause heart disease, lung cancer, dry your skin, and cause wrinkles? Almost 50,000 deaths each year can be caused to secondhand smoke. Tobacco is just as bad as smoking. In fact, it's very similar to cigarettes. In the United States, it is illegal to sell any sort of tobacco product to anyone under the age of 18, 19 in some states. Tobacco can cause mouth cancer, tooth loss, and other health problems. Chewing tobacco can also reduce the amount of blood that flows to the brain. That interferes with the way the brain works. More than 400,000 people die from tobacco-related causes each year. Did you know alcohol is illegal for anyone under the age of 21 and can damage every organ in your body? When teenagers drink alcohol, it affects them more severely than adults because their bodies are still growing. Alcohol can also slow down the brain and body, lose coordination, have poor judgment, memory loss, loss of self-control, and slow reflexes. Alcohol can also weaken the heart muscle and reduce the amount of blood, pumps, and two from the heart. Too much alcohol can slow down the body and lead to a coma and death. There are 75,000 alcohol-related deaths each year in the U.S. I'm sure you, your friend, or someone you know has been bullied. When you're reporting a bully, you, should, you could tell an adult, confront, confront the bully, or, tell, or, help the, or help the person that's getting bullied. If you are going to tell an adult, you have to tell them who got bullied, what happened, when it was happening, where it was happening, and why it was happening. There are four types of bullying. Physical, social, verbal, and cyber. Physical bullying involves hitting, shoving, pushing, tripping, and other kinds of physical force. Verbal bullying involves hurtful comments, name calling, and teasing. Social bullying involves relationships that hurt someone. If you, if you see someone getting bullied, you should talk to that person, tell an adult, or confront the bully. Jer has helped me with all sorts of situations and knowing what I shouldn't do. Jer has told me the reasons why I shouldn't smoke, bully, use alcohol or tobacco. And more importantly, Jer has inspired and encouraged me to help prevent those types of situations by staying away from people who do these types of things. Dan, Dare stands for define, assess, respond, and evaluate. The Dare decision-making model has told me what the right choices are and how to make the right choices. So if you need help with a problem, read the Dare decision-making model. Thank you, Officer Doug, Ms. Kramer, Ms. Inlows, Ms. Scarpino, and all the teachers. Thank you, Mayor, for coming to our D.A.R.E. graduation. And thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Good job. Next, we have Emily Schaefer. My Dare Report by Emily Nicole Schaefer. Have you ever felt stressed, pressured, or even, have you ever felt stressed, pressured to use drugs, or sad from a bully? I have, but don't worry, you are not alone. Dare has great tips to help. 
Stress is horrible. No one wants to feel it. What do you do when you are stressed? Cry, scream, or even shut down? There is great tips to stop stress. Here are a few. Take a breath, talk to someone, or take a break. Take, talking to someone works for me. Which one works for you? We've also talked about bullies. I've been bullied before, have you? If reporting the bully, which is only one strategy of dealing with the bully, then report the five W's. Who is being bullied? What happened? When did it happen? Where did it happen? Lastly, why did it happen? Have you ever been asked to use alcohol and or tobacco? There are tons of bad ways to misuse them. More than 400,000 Americans die from tobacco each year. Alcohol is illegal for anyone under 21. Smoking can yellow your teeth and cause bad breath. Cigarettes contain nicotine that can cause addiction. Alcohol can cause poor judgment as well. It is illegal to sell tobacco to anyone under 18. I never want to smoke. How about you? I hope my report helped you. Dare is very helpful. Officer Duck has taught me so much. Now I know how to deal with bullies, stress, alcohol, tobacco, and saying no. I hope I helped you and that you enjoyed my dear report. Thank you. Next we have Ryan Vermillion. Did you know about 443,000 people die from smoking each year? Smoking is bad for the whole body. If you know someone who smokes, tell them to stop or they might die. Smoking isn't just one of the things you shouldn't use. There are alcohol and drugs too. We learn in D.A.R.E. that smoking is bad for the lungs. Mostly it turns them all brown and disgusting. D.A.R.E. teaches us to do what the law says or you could get in big trouble. You need to be 21 or older to drink wine or alcohol. Do not drink underage. Drinking and driving is so dangerous, right now people die from drinking and driving, and about 15,000 people die each year. Drugs are bad when they are being used improperly. Mixing alcohol and medicine is, da me me medicine is dangerous. Don't, mis don't misuse drugs or it could be bad for your body. I, Ryan Vermillion, pledge to never smoke, drink underage, or misuse drugs. I will do what DARE means, define, assess, respond, and evaluate, and I hope you all will do the same. All the students did a great job, like I said before, on the reports, and those five there are just a great example of that. Uh, the last group of people I'd like to thank are the ones that make my job as a dare officer very easy, and that's the staff and teachers here at Bauer Elementary, and that begins with your principal, Mrs. Sunderman. And your fifth grade teachers, Mrs. Enlos. Ms. Kramer. And Mrs. Scarpino. And now it's time for you guys to receive your certificates, and we will begin with Mrs. Kramer's class. <laughs> All right, the first one from my class is Jana Asim. Carter Kleinfelder, but he had to leave. Lily Cotterman. Connor Harris. Good job, Lily. Congratulations. Alex Jackson. Good job, Connor. Good job. Grayson Lewis. Alexis Leaps. Kyle Linden Schmidt. Gave Mandex, Skylar McDonald, Amy Wynn, Desmond Owens, Asama Prabhakar. Chloe Price, 
Grace Prince. Kaylee Renau. Mariah Wilkerson. And Jada Dix. Next, we have Mrs. Scarpino's class. Right. Congratulations. We'll start with Kennedy Bowles, Ada Boyd, Braden Kauser, Justin Davis. Ava Fout. <laughs> Lena Hartman. Abdul Kahil. Toby Lalich. Emily Lipscomb. Sydney Little. Damian Manzak, Hayden Pascal, Peyton Pratt, Emily Schaefer, Ethan Shaviri, Bristol Titus. Bella Trace, Ben Tran, Ryan Vermillion, and Alfred White. And next we have Mrs. Inlos' class. All right, for my class, I have Amar Abushakra. <laughs> Valerie Almar. <laughs> Yusuf Alsawahi. <laughs> Brody <laughs> Arthur. Eric Butler, Anthony Ewing, Sean Furl, Lance Harris, Chandler Hoskins. Maya Harani, Aislinn Lee, Kaya McCurry, Michael Neubauer, Peyton Rammel, AJ Sally, Aaron Schwederman, Asia Smith, Mason Turner, Nakari White, Alyssa Wilkerson, and last but not least, Kayla Wills. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. 
Excuse me, we have one more. Christian Barbecho, come on up. Well, last thing we'll do as part of our D.A.R.E. graduation is I have a short little video uh, to show you uh, of classes here at Bow. Thank you, gentlemen.
Uh, once again, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today. Uh, we had a real fun year here at Bauer. You guys have a great summer. Be safe, and I'll see you guys next year. Thank you.